Hey, if it isn't you guys again, it's been a while. I actually have an excuse this time. I don't know if I want to use it though, because excuses are pretty, like I said, excuses suck, but this is an actual like good excuse. But I don't really want to spend the whole video giving this excuse. Anyway, it's a very long story. Let me just kind of break it down for you guys. I'm going to give you guys an excuse. I'm sorry about that. Don't want to get off of that guy and the kind of guy who just like, you know, uploads every now and then, you know, just like goes away for like freaking five months. It comes back out of nowhere, uploads a part three. It's like, dude, I've been waiting for part three for three months. Mm, okay, but nonetheless, I'm going to give you guys the breakdown. My internet's been shot. It hasn't been gone completely, but uploading a video would take like freaking five hours for a 10 minute video. I'm like, okay, screw that. I'm not going to make my, <laughs> my computer life that much work for five hours trying to upload a video or some stupid crap like that. But anyways, back to the schedule. The best schedule is gonna be kind of like, I hate when people spam my sub boxes anyways. So maybe this break was kind of needed for you guys because I hate when people spam my sub boxes. That's why I don't like to subscribe to that many people because I just hate having like these people come up every single day uploading something. So maybe a good compromise for that is for me to upload like every like two or three days. Tell me what you guys think about that. I don't really know how much you guys want me to upload or whatever that is. So just tell me that down in the comments. I know this really seems like a thing where like, dude, comment on my video. No, I seriously want to know because I have no idea. But anyways, just since I gave you that excuse, this little short ended excuse right there for my internet just being shot the past couple of days. Now I got it fixed. It's all good and everything like that. But today we're going to be watching some of these war attacks. We're just watching this one anyways. It looks like he has the whole wizards and crap. <laughs> I don't even know what this is guys if I'm being completely honest I might have taken like I might have had the YouTube stuff off right now because like you know my internet was freaking stupid so yes I did have the YouTube stuff off guys I haven't seen this town hall 5 base the thing that I have I haven't seen this footage in literally like weeks I'm talking like three freaking weeks I don't know what's freaking happening right now it's super small on my screen I hope you guys can see that crap though I might have been off from the whole YouTube thing but I still kind of continued my whole accounts in 8-ball pool and in clash of clans so when you guys see it you guys will see exactly like what my base looks like as of right now three weeks later i'm telling you it's a huge difference i remember i was looking over this footage i was like yo dude this is back with town hall five uh, just so you guys know i'm not town hall five anymore obviously i was absolutely amazed and honestly like surprised and shocked looking over this footage thinking about how far my base has come and i had no idea how old this footage was but you guys will see it in the next clash of clans video how much my base has progressed and things like that now in this war i'm going to go ahead and show you who's the first person that i'm going to be attacking but we're not going to attack him right now we're going to attack him later as you can see this guy's his base is uh yeah it's nothing really special i <laughs> I don't know why people make their bases like this. Apparently, it's like a mini max type thing. I don't even know what that even means, but apparently, it's some kind of strategy. It just looks like trash to me. But, anyways, we're gonna be attacking that base. We're not gonna do it now because we do need a little bit of money. I still have the problem to this day of me maxing out on gold and elixir. So, that is still a pretty big problem for me. But we're gonna go ahead and attack, anyways, because we can get the extra gold and elixir we need to actually get maxed out this time. Anyway, so our aim with this base is to basically get the star bonus we're gonna try to take this out my thing is is that i could use my clan castle troops and take this whole base out and the three star you know but the thing is we only need like a, a couple more stars for the star bonus and plus most of the loot that we need is away from that air defense so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop a giant to distract the archer tower and then drop in all my boom loons right there and they're gonna take out as many defenses as they can which will kind of lead away from my barbarians and archers to take out all the collectors and all the storages and things like that so that's what i'm going to do here so as the balloons are going around and taking out all the defenses i'm gonna start just kind of trinkling them in there and then something really weird happened right here i don't know what happened it like blurs out and then it comes back in and then the raid is like halfway done. And I look back on this and I was like, what? Ha like that has never happened to me before. I have no idea what happened. It, it's Maybe it's some like government classified crap that they didn't want you to see that I didn't even recognize or something like that because that has never happened before. But anyways, going back halfway through the raid, magically, I guess we had like a, I guess the, I don't, uh, but anyway, we're getting most of this person's loot. So I was actually right when I said I didn't need to put down the other balloons that I have in my clan castle. 
just because that would have been kind of like a waste of clan castle troops and plus i need them for the next battle we go ahead and end the battle right there and we get really good amount of new we get 200,000 of gold plus our star bonus right there which is 80,000 gold and we are almost completely maxed out when we collect from our we're freaking maxed out so like i said i had a problem still with maxing out here but anyway so i get back on a few hours later now i'm going to be showing you one of my war attacks right now and i get on and my clan castle is finally filled usually they're really quick and very good about filling up clan castles but i guess no one has max hogs they probably had to train it specifically so that i could have it in my clan castle but i get on into clan chat and, you know i'm typing them some love you know like i love you you know your family stuff like that you know just kind of giving them love you know kind of just building them up you know trying to be as nice as i can to them i'm gonna show you my army right now i don't know how this is gonna do against the base i just kind of closed my eyes and picked a random bunch of troops and hope that it worked on this base but let's go ahead and see if this works. i don't even freaking know i'm kind of scared but let's go ahead and just like hope that this army camp does actually work on this base but we get on here and this is my opponent get this dude is stupid doesn't know how to use it i'm just kidding i know that it's one of those like things where like you try to get lower people to match you and war and stuff like that but he got me and there's no way he can beat my base. Uh, well, maybe his troops can, but my base is definitely way... I don't, I'm a town all five. So, I mean, I'm a maxed out town all five. So, that's definitely better than his base is right here. But I'm going to go ahead and lure it out. It appears that he had a dragon. That's kind of scary. I didn't think he was going to have a dragon. Oh, crap. If I'm actually being honest, though, I'm actually glad that he had a dragon. Because most clans give their people, like, freaking... 50 valkyries and it takes up all my archers and wizards just to make a dent in one of them anyways now that that dragon is taken care of i'm gonna go ahead and do my full attack right here just laying in all the hog riders all the giants everything this space it you really don't this space you don't even really need a freaking attack strategy because everything is just <sighs> this really isn't even that interesting i'm just freaking you just put it at the top and they go out and they take out the entire base. It's an instant three star, except all the stuff that's on the side and crap like that. But that's obviously just more of like an annoyance than an actual like, oh crap, I need to get, no, you just drop like freaking two, oh, that giant bomb right there. That scared me for a second. Then I realized there was none of my troops by it, but an obviously three star right there. And that go ahead and concludes my second war attack of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys just like a regular raid, you know, that you do on like villages for loot and stuff like that. Now I'm going to show you this in kind of like a speed time lag thing just to kind of whoa what what <laughs> So there you guys have it. I really am too high as far as like trophy rank for me to like farming resources at my level and stuff like that because my troops aren't strong enough to get past the defenses of those other people at my level. So I really should drop down in trophies. It really is just for me like winning a bunch of like offenses and stuff like that, a bunch of attacks just because I get like the one star and get some trophies, you know, but I really am gonna try to kind of drop down a little bit so that I can actually farm resources and get the most out of the bases I see and things like that. But we got level seven balloons. I was gonna wait to raid until I got them, but you know, me being impatient, I'm like, I wanna film this right now so i'm gonna go ahead and just train my troops here but the real thing is is that guys we are a maxed out town hall five you know we are what am i doing can i stop doing this anyways we are maxed out town hall five so we're gonna be upgrading to town hall level six and if you guys thought that town hall five went by pretty fast um you guys are gonna really hate town hall six i'm just saying but that's enough spoils for this video i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you guys are glad to have me back don't forget
forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys hate the fact that I'm back, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys do want to see more Clash of Clans videos, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys want to see only a pop pool videos, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you guys are a person and you have two eyes and you have a head, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And I will see you guys probably tomorrow. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. I'm probably, you guys will like see me in like two days or something like, uh, yeah, probably in like two days or something. I'm, I'm just going to give a kind of a rough... I'm going to stop. This outro is way too long. Hold on. See you guys. Later.